Dana, we heard Portland has also postponed its show tonight. That's mm -hmm. happening tomorrow night, but luckily tomorrow things are looking pretty good. Yeah, we had a mixed bag in terms of weather today. Some sun, some thunderstorms and some flash flooding. But mm. overall, tomorrow is looking a little bit better. In fact, if you look at the radar right now, it kind of really shows the mix between things that we are seeing. So along the northern parts of the state and in the mountains, that's where we're seeing some thunderstorms and some daytime heating. Whereas along the coast, that's where we saw a stationary front earlier today, which brought us some more consistent rain. Now there is also a flash flood warning currently in effect for Carroll and Grafton counties in New Hampshire. So if you have any outdoor firework plans or if there, you see any flooded roads, be sure to be aware of any areas like that because thanks to how saturated the atmosphere is and how saturated the soil is, thanks to several days of rainfall, it makes it a lot easier to flood. In fact, an area just north of Wakefield got 3.6 inches of rain from just the storms that we saw today. So there is something to be considered definitely with that. Then in terms of watches and warnings, we do have some more of those flash flood warnings in New Hampshire, otherwise just some flood advisories. But they, we do have that rain beginning to cool off a little bit as we get into the afternoon. In terms of temperature, we are getting into the middle 70s, a little bit cooler along the coast, but some areas inland getting into the mid 80s, some areas even reaching the upper 80s this afternoon. And because it's hot and humid, that's what caused a lot of the thunderstorms to come through this afternoon. Now, as we head into the evening, most places will be dry for firework time. Just have a couple of showers and possible thunderstorms in eastern Maine. But some low clouds hanging out could hinder the viewing of fireworks a little bit, but most places will remain dry. As we head into Wednesday, high pressure begins to settle in and most areas will be relatively dry and sunny as well. But because it'll be relatively warm and humid, there is a chance for some thunderstorms to pop up in the afternoon, so it won't be completely dry. And then Thursday will be a bit of a repeat of what we'll see on Wednesday with some possible thunderstorms hanging out in the afternoon. So if you are going to be seeing fireworks this evening, it'll be mostly dry in most places, temperature of 68 degrees. And then if your fireworks were postponed until tomorrow, not looking too bad for that either. If you're going to be on the water this evening, seas of three feet and the water of 62 degrees. And for the seven day forecast, as we go into the next couple of days, we will have high pressure settle in, but we will have the temperatures going up pretty high as well. And then as we get into later in the week and into the weekend as well, we'll have another system move in. So that's when we'll have a repeat of some rain and humidity. And even as we head into the beginning of next week, the rain is going to stick around as well. Temperatures only reaching into the upper 60s, so it'll be humid, cool, and rainy as we head into next week. But at least for the next couple of days, it'll be a little bit warmer, a little bit drier, still humid. So it'll really feel like July. And in terms of fireworks tonight, most places, again, will remain dry. And if your fireworks are postponed to tomorrow, I would say mostly dry as well. So overall, not too bad. OK, get a nice little break in there. Yeah, I mean, we can appreciate that, especially with the rain coming up once <laughs> again. Can. Dana, thank you so much.